Eugenia. Now, Eugenia posted a video, made a lot of people angry. It was very obvious that she'd stopped caring. We're talking about the skinniest legend in the world. She seems like a really, really sweet girl. She is clearly not okay. She is clearly suffering. She's clearly on the brink of death from a very severe eating disorder. Calling her names, telling her she looks disgusting, attacking her on personal levels. Mm, I love cucumbers. See, I eat, I love food. Like, guys, like, the thing is, like, you guys don't understand, okay? Like, everyone just comes to my streams, like, what am I going to attack me lately, okay? It's like, oh, like why do you guys do this to me? me two weeks late because she had a very hard time giving birth and I ended up being a c-section. Once I was cut out of my mom's stomach, I was put into a crib. I hated the crib so my mom kept me in a car seat which she called a bucket. Eugenia Sullivan Cooney was born in Massachusetts on the 27th of July 1994. She was originally given the name Colleen Cooney but her mother changed it just a few weeks after she was born. Eugenia is known primarily for her videos on YouTube, her Twitch streams, and for her appearance. Mom, if you don't film a mukbang in the next couple of days, I'm gonna starve myself to look like you. Um, just kidding. I would never do that because I don't want to die and look like you, disgusting corpse. Eat food, bitch. Throughout her early childhood and adolescence, Eugenia would struggle to make friends. She did not enjoy her time at school due to incessant bullying. Consequently, she was forced to change schools a multitude of times, eventually leading her to become homeschooled. Even when she did find people who did like her, it was not in the way she would have preferred. My first kiss was actually the most awkward thing in the world, basically. It was when I was 16 and I was staying at a hotel in New York City and I was just kind of hanging up by the pool and then these two guys came up to me and they were like, oh hey, come party with us. So I didn't want to be rude, so I was like, oh, okay. So then I kind of ended up going with them. First, one of them just started making out with me and his friend just kind of started like making out with me and I didn't want them to, but they kind of just like, they kind of just started putting their lips to mine and then that just kind of happened. My mom came and then she was like, okay, we're going. Eugenia has never been close to most of her family. Her closest relationships are with her mother and grandmother. Her grandmother seemingly having lived an unbelievable life. I have a grandma named Jean Sullivan, and she used to tell me when I was younger that she was a actress, singer, designer, aerobics instructor, wrestler, bungee jumper, librarian, doctor, baseball player. As well as loving her mother and grandmother, Eugenia also cared deeply for the family dog Buzz, who was named after Buzz Lightyear from Toy Story. When the family first got Buzz, they highly suspected that he had been abused by his previous owners. Thankfully, Eugenia didn't seem the type to do anything like that. But he's really calm, and I can just kind of pet him, and he'll stay, and be my friend. So, it's really nice. Buzz can also give kisses. Buzz, can you give me a kiss? During her young adulthood, Eugenia had dabbled in a bit of modelling. But modelling, though she had an interest, was not her real passion. Eugenia was more interested in making videos online. In 2011, Eugenia began her online presence when she began live streaming on the broadcasting service YouNow. Later that same year, she would create her YouTube channel, and in 2018, she would appear on Twitch for the first time. I think like the most important thing in life, like regardless of your beliefs, is to just kind of like try to be the best person you can be and to just try to be positive and to treat people well. So I don't know, that's just like what I think is the most important. Yes, love does win, exactly. You know, It was in 2013 that Eugenia achieved her first viral video. Her video entitled How to Ratchetly Twerk brought her into the limelight, and thus her YouTube journey began to flourish. Hey, 
you guys, it's Eugenia. Hey guys, it's Eugenia. Hey guys, it's Eugenia. Hey guys, it's Eugenia. Her early videos on YouTube were those which appealed to teenagers and young adults. How to get a boy to like you, makeup tutorials, fashion videos, YouTube trends, and advice for her young fans. Now I know breaking up with somebody can be a pretty hard thing to do. I'm gonna show you some ways that you can break up with that person and then get out of that relationship forever. Tell him that you're only attracted to older men and that you would prefer to date his dad. There was an undeniable feeling of positivity in her videos. She may have struggled making friends growing up, but now that she was a content creator, all that seemed to have changed. I'm here with my awesome friend. Crank that frame. So today I'm here with my amazing friend, Mercedes. It's Eugenia. And today I'm here with Bobby. Hey guys, it's Eugenia. And today I'm here with my awesome friend, Robbie. Robbie. Yes. A few things were immediately apparent from watching her early days online. She loved interacting with her fans and meeting other creators. I think that's just a really important thing for people to remember, like that everyone does go through hard things in life and to just like be nice to people and just try to like love and support people. And yeah, I agree with you completely. She could make the odd mistake. You look like Rosa Parks. Rosa Parks, really? Well, um, thank you. I mean, she made our flag, didn't she? So I guess I am, I look like a, a pretty impressive woman, I guess. <laughs> Wait, no, I'm so dumb. Oh my gosh. But I think that there's like an ocean between the US and Canada, isn't there? I know I've flown to Canada a couple of times and it's really nice there and it's cool you guys are Canadian. But um, yeah, I've never, um, I've never driven there. I don't think you probably can. <laughs> but anyways. Um... She seemed to genuinely care about her fans. I know probably a lot of you guys are like not very excited to go back to school. I know I wouldn't be very excited to go back to school. School could really suck for a lot of people. So that's kind of something that I wanted to talk about today. So my experience with school was honestly never really a good one, which is why I don't want to really like lie to you guys and just be like, oh yeah, you're going to go to school and it's going to be great. Because I know school can literally feel like a living hell sometimes. Despite her positive attitude, she herself was not immune to feelings of sadness. It's impossible to always be happy. If people were always happy, then it wouldn't really be good. Think about like if you are happy all the time. Is happy even really a thing anymore? Because like you're always happy, so it just doesn't feel like it, you know? Without the darkness, there can't really be a light. It's without sadness, there couldn't be happiness. When you are happy, you can really appreciate those moments and realize how great they are because you know what it's like to not feel so great. Despite not being well liked during her school days, now, because of her videos, she found herself with an army of beloved fans. I love you so much. I love you so much. Hi, how excited are you guys to be at this amazing meetup? Really awesome. It's so cool, right? Yeah. Yeah, you guys are the coolest people ever. Hi. They've been wearing my bracelet yeah, for like somewhere ever. in here. It's awesome. Right there. Because they're just like the coolest people ever. Becoming bigger online, of course, had its setbacks. You are ugly, foam, weak as toothpick, and not. Do not not, do not know to move. Let your Ew, stomach. I'm sorry, but she's quite disgusting looking. Bony as hell. Oh, it's a spooky skeleton. Oh. I am absolutely sick of your disgusting ass. I am planning to do a spell to get rid of you once and for all. Enjoy the world while you can, Skelly Boy. Mr. Skeletal says the lard ass. Stop YouTube, but nice hair. I think you spelled hair wrong. But yeah, you suck and eat a sandwich. We are her parents. This girl is crying out for help. You had no friends because you're anorexic and emo. I think you meant emo. I think. And they thought you were a ghost. And they thought you would eat their soul because you're so skinny that you're about it. Based on her appearance, many viewers believed Eugenia was suffering from an eating disorder. Though she would never claim to be an expert on any mental health disorders. But I also don't want to say that I am like this person 
that is like a professional or an expert or like the go-to girl or whatever to like ask mental health questions to. Because I'm not, you know. Her critics would argue that her content encourages eating disorders amongst her viewers, raising concerns about her influence on younger fans. Eugenia, I know you have anorexia. And I know you, you're not really admitting it really, but it's quite noticeable. Don't get me wrong, I love you to bits because you're the best YouTuber in the whole world. But I'm getting really scared about you because I love your videos and you're really kind and I think you deserve to stay alive. Her body made it difficult for many to watch, though that wasn't the case for everyone. Mark always likes me to sit and sit. So, all right, Mark, ready? Um, here we go. Yay! Here we go, yay! <laughs> Stand up and spin in place. Um, okay, Jack, this is for us being number two on the leaderboard. You guys ready for me to stand up and spin in place? All right, here we go. You guys ready for this? Woo! <laughs> there you go. Just, just for you, Jack. Guys, okay, this is all Mark really wants me to do. All right, Mark, I'm doing it. You ready for this? That's a lot of subs. Guys, get mad at me for something else, okay? Let's see if I can move my makeup. Oh, look, I'm kind of moving it. Wow. You guys know. There were often times during her live streams when someone, usually a man, would donate to Eugenia and ask her to perform physical activities. Whether it was because they had a fetish for anorexia or they were elaborate trolls, Eugenia would have no problem fulfilling their requests. So, um, you know, oh, oh my gosh, I'm Nision, wow! Thank you for the almost 25,000 no bits, that's what. so crazy, you thank you so much! You have millions of people who care about you. Oh, well, you thank you! You are a wonderful person, and we are so lucky to have you in this world. Oh, well, thank you, that's, that's, a, that's really, really nice of you to say that, so I really appreciate Despite the seedy tone that was prevalent in her streams, in her YouTube videos she demonstrated a much more wholesome side to her channel, particularly with her grandmother. Today I have on a very, very special guest, my amazing grandmother. So yeah, say hi, Grandma. Hi there. So Grandma, how's your life going right now? Yeah, well, it's, I can't say much that I'm disappointed in, you know, pretty much happy. It could be a little more exciting. I want to go to Japan. Oh my goodness, that's nice. Yeah, do you know Pikachu? The dog. The dog? No. Pikachu. This is him. Oh, him. How was your time been visiting here? Oh, I had a great time. You're having fun? I'm yeah, glad. Yeah. Ah! Uh -oh. Sorry. That's okay. I'm a little bit thick. You kind of look like Evo, grandmother, but it's okay. Do you want a wing, though? Like, be like an angel? Oh, you mean a wing? Yeah, like a wing. Extend it a little bit out. Beautiful! Oh, no, let me just think. Like, hey, is that me? That's you! You did a good, Yay! A good job! I'm happy you like it! Thank you. Ooh, so you like it. So happy you like it. I tried really hard. I'm my grandma's biggest fan ever. Oh, I'm so proud of her. Oh, thank you. A lot of people hate me online, but thank you. No, I don't think anybody They do. Watch. We're going to be using Tinder, both of us, for like the first time today. Okay. You excited? Yeah. Me yeah, too! Like, it's time for the picture. <laughs> Alright, perfect. So, you like? No. Oh, background there. He's got like the city and the sky and... Yeah, but I don't like him. Oh, oh okay, to know. Why not? I don't know. Alright. He's a little bit. You want... Yeah, we'll take him. Okay, yes! Grandma, you got one! Yay! <laughs> I love you guys, and my grandma loves you too, right? I think. Yeah, All right, bye. Bye. Nice. It was very nice. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. Are you ready to go preppy in a wonderful, wonderful way? Let's do it. Eugenia spending time with her grandmother was always a delightful sight for her fans. The same, however, could not be said when Eugenia's mother made an appearance. 
I thought that love was only meant for fairy tales. <laughs> and then I saw his face. Now I'm a believer. I couldn't leave you if I tried. And then I saw his face. Look at Mama. Buzz. And then I saw your face. Now I'm a believer. I could you have it on? Although many viewers had disparaging things to say, not everyone was against Eugenia's mother. To many, it was apparent that her mother cared for her deeply. You killed oh, yourself once. Oh my gosh. What is up with your generation? In my day, we could never be so mean. So rude. Oh. Really. Social media, you guys. What are you the, with the love. Me, with the love. What's your I'm actually going to be song lyric text pranking my mom. I'm going to be text pranking her with the song Sorry by Justin Bieber. I don't know what you're getting at, but I'm a little worried. Everything is okay. Why are you typing out me being angry? And apologies? There's nothing to apologize over. Is Buzz okay? Are you okay? Oh, my poor mom. She's freaking out. She says, call me. Pick up. They let me redeem. She says, redeem coupons? <laughs> You're really starting to scare me. Oh. But that's only what she thinks. She really thinks I'm like literally just somewhere right now. Like super, super drunk and wasted. Even though I'm like... What is that? Why am I getting some insurance check? Are you okay? Yeah. What, what, okay. Yeah. What, what, yeah. Of course. Is, is okay? Yeah. Despite her caring demeanor, Eugenia's mother sometimes would exhibit a harsher persona. Oh, wow. oh no! Oh, what did I you dropped your flowers! Oh. Okay, can you put in that stupid thing? Okay, my mom just broke her flowers, so she's like super pissed now. Well, I guess I somehow made my mom break her flowers, which I didn't really make her do it, but maybe I was being distracting. I don't know. But, anyways. There was one video which outraged much of Eugenia's audience. In the video, Eugenia's mother openly encouraged her daughter to undress in public. I'll try the top. You gotta slide it up. Okay, go okay, ahead. Okay, so now I guess we're gonna, I guess we're trying, we're trying to get a baby shoe with all the Make sure you have the right side. Now you have to put the skirt back on to see how the bottom and pull it down. What do I do? Pull, Pull down. down the material. Okay. There you go. Thanks, Bob. You've been so helpful. I'm gonna put the skirt back on. So. You gotta rearrange. You got the bottom. You gotta try it on the right way. It's on backwards. I know. I'm gonna. Okay. I'm putting the skirt back on. Yeah. Like, okay. I have like other words. Yeah. Oh, sorry. You have to take it tie back up back. the bathing suit too. Once you're oh, done. Okay. I'll I'll get there. One of the main criticisms her mother has faced is that she hasn't allowed Eugenia to do things for herself, that she has babied her daughter for too long. Eugenia may have relied on her mother for a lot, but she didn't always want that to be the case. I actually today did like my first driving lesson. Another lesson. This is Amy. Hi, everybody. She's so nice. Thank you for teaching me. <laughs> okay. Yay. All right. So, yeah. I was showing her. Instagram. You have to show yourself. Yeah. I'm like. She doesn't think her eyes look great, but I think yeah, they I look amazing. I didn't have time to finish them, but thank you. And she's doing so well. <laughs> thank you. I'm trying. Yeah. You're doing great. Aww. Eugenia was excited to finally gain some independence. However, not everyone shared that excitement. Um, I had like this driving instructor that's kind of been like helping me with driving lessons and things like that. She's like a super sweet lady. There are some people that actually went like far enough to like track her down and literally start trying to like interfere with her job and like leaving her bad reviews and things like that and kind of like harassing her, which I just really don't like to see that happening, guys. Even if her instructor did get fired, which thankfully she didn't, Eugenia always had herself a backup teacher. Oh, no way, no phone. Oh yeah, no phones. No phones. No phones. All right, no phone. Okay. Okay. So Let's start the engine. That's important. Do you have your seatbelt? Seatbelt. Okay. Can you have yours? No. No seatbelt. Let's get going. I'm gonna teach everyone how to drive. You don't hit the pot. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Alright, I didn't hit it. Okay. Just don't hit around. the car. Oh yeah, the other car. The car okay. <laughs> Okay, just wait a minute. What? Okay, yes, you're in the middle of the road. Okay. Well, slow down. You're going to miss the race. Wait, what do you mean? Okay, go. Go, 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 go. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Zigzag. You're going to be going over yeah. with these pointers. Yeah, the bushes. 
No bushes. Hit the bushes again. Yesterday I went into the bushes. Okay. Hey, don't hit the telephone pole. Just go oh, straight. I see, I see it. Go I see it. Slow down. You got another car going. What do you truck. Mean? This truck is taking the truck. Tour. That truck. Yeah, they're not going here. Yes, they are. Oh, yeah, they are. Okay. Um, okay where, the, where these bushes? Oh, are, are those bushes? Yeah. Pull over here, okay. please. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. No, no. I know. I know. Okay. Stop. Okay. Still yeah. Okay, make sure nothing is coming and pull out to is drive. It yeah, it's forward. Ow. <laughs> I don't usually do that, just so you guys know. You hit the glass? Yeah. Oh, You've never done that. <laughs> make sure nothing's coming without okay. hitting a head on the glass, okay? Eugenia would go on to reveal that she had failed her driving test. Which seemed odd because she looked like such a good driver. Boop, ow. <laughs> Eugenia was clearly not happy with people trying to interfere with the lives of the people around her. Although she was trying to gain more independence, nothing seemed to be good enough for some. Hey, this morning, um, I woke up to Animal Control Center, like, being at my house and um, essentially like trying to take my dog away, which was terrifying. I guess that somebody online decided to call them and tell them for some reason that I was abusing my dog. Um, Buzz, I know some people are like, you don't take care of your dog, Eugenia, because his nose is too dry, his nose looks too dry, his nails are too long. Um, now, if we cut his nails too short, guys, and we've even asked the vet about this, then they will like start bleeding um and also his nose like they've given us stuff to like put on it and we do that but sometimes it still just kind of stays dry even the ladies like from animal control were kind of like oh we're surprised we got sent here to take away such a well taken care of dog and eugenia didn't just have people calling authorities on her dog Winchester, please. Hi, is this Paula? Yes. How you doing, Paula? I just got a call from uh, an officer, DeCarlo, that said that he spoke with uh, Eugenia Cooney's mother, and he asked oh, me is to this... a call back. Yes, this is, this is Corey. Corey. Yes. Oh, hi. Yep. Um, hold on for one second. It was actually a sergeant. One second. Yeah, I'd love to talk with the sergeant. Corey, Sergeant Palmer, how are you? How you doing, Sergeant Palmer? Doing all right. Listen, we spoke to uh, Debbie Cooney, got in touch with us, the girl's mother. Uh, so this girl, Eugenia, that you were concerned about is out in California with her mother. Her mother told us that she's safe and sound. Sergeant, uh, are, are yeah. you in front of a computer? I want you to go to YouTube, and I want you to put in Eugenia Cooney's name, and I want you to click on her video that she uploaded six days ago. Well, I'm not, I'm not ref uh, refuting what you're concerned about, but I'm just going to tell you what the mother said just so you're... So you know what the mother said to me. I'm not telling you. I'm in agreement. Oh, yeah. I, uh, her mother, 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 seems, mother seems saying that to basically do that a lot. Her daughter is, her mother's saying her daughter is very, very skinny. Otherwise healthy, though. That's what she's telling me. And she also said that she's saying oftentimes rumors are spread about her daughter due to her um, very, very skinny stature. And it's almost okay. like her mother is allowing this to happen. Okay. And, and you see this person. They're not healthy. They yeah. can barely stand. Her legs yeah. are literally all bone. There's nothing yeah. healthy about that. I, I'm deeply concerned that if nobody does anything about this, and I know that uh, in 2016, Obama signed a new law into effect to get people with anorexia um, you know, hospitalized if they refuse to get help or eat. And this girl just seems to get worse every three, four months. And I'm scared that... You know, if nobody does the right thing and doesn't get the police involved, that yeah. this girl could die one day. Um, I guess today is actually going to be the day that I end up going to the police um, to meet with some of the cops over that whole, like, phone call thing going on. So, All right, guys, so here I am. I know some of you guys were like, freaking out about me going to the cops, but they're very nice people. So okay. here they are. You guys want to say hi? Hi. Hi. Here, here yeah. at GPD with uh, Eugenia Cooney. Thanks for coming on down. Of course. I was telling them I feel so bad they have to like deal with this stuff. But <laughs> now they know, you know, I'm alive and not having cardiac arrest or anything crazy. So which is wonderful. Thank you. Right. Yeah, I'm glad thank, that's thank you for coming down. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, 
in them Instagram stories and like the pretty sparkle filter. So oh, good. yeah, did great. you see it yet? No, I have not. Okay, I'll show it to you. So uh -huh. it's oh, pretty, right? Great. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, guys. Okay. Well, thanks and for so, saying hi. This is a you. real life police captain's office. Yes, it's a great office. Thank you guys for oh. showing me around. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. It was difficult for her genuine fans to keep watching her without anything being done about her weight. A petition was even created to have Eugenia removed from the internet. According to Eugenia though, she was just a normal person who wanted to make videos online and had no intention of promoting unhealthy eating habits. The petition didn't work and Eugenia carried on making content. However, something would happen that would make the petition seem relatively meaningless. So they ended up deciding that they wanted to take her into care and they ordered something called a 5150 